नमस्कार फ्रेंड्स गुड आफ्टरनून एंड एज प्रोमिस्ड वी आर बैक हियर टू ब्रीफ यू ऑन द सेकेंड इंडिया चाइना इनफॉर्मल समिट यू मस्ट हैव सीन द विजुअल्स प्लेइंग आउट ऑन टेलीविजन स्क्रीन येस्टरडे एंड टूडे आई हैव विथ मी द फॉरन सेक्रेटरी ऑफ इंडिया श्री विजय गोखले आई ऑल्सो हैव जॉइंट सेक्रेटरी ईस्ट एशिया इन द मिनिस्टर ऑफ एक्सटर्नल अफेयर्स नवीन श्रीवास्तव हु विल टेक अस थ्रू द डिस्कशन टूडे and also uh, yesterday what uh, transpired in in the meetings between the two leaders after the initial remarks by the foreign secretary we will open the floor to questions we will take questions in a bunch of 3 please identify yourself which is your name and the organization and please raise your hand i will identify you and then you can ask your questions there are mics which will be given to you sir the floor is yours thank you ravish Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen President Xi Jinping and his delegation have just departed from the venue for the second informal summit this morning in the follow up to yesterday's meeting between prime minister and president xi jinping the two leaders had another conversation of almost 90 minutes on a one to one basis uh, and that was followed up with talks at the delegation level between the two delegations followed by prime ministers hosting a lunch in honor of president xi jinping and his delegation so in all uh, the two leaders have had 6 hours of direct discussion on a one to one basis you would have seen the media remarks made by both leaders at the delegation level talks the prime minister has spoken of the chennai connect as a follow up to the wuhan spirit and while i'm sure you have Uh, also carefully followed the remarks made by president xi to the media i wanted to flag some of the points that he had made he felt that prime minister had sincerely welcomed him to india he spoke of the informal summit as having produced visible progress he described his experience in india as a memorable one and that he had enjoyed discussions with the prime minister and both president xi jinping and the prime minister have conveyed their appreciation to the government the state government of tamil nadu for the excellent arrangements including the very grand welcome that president xi jinping was given the president himself spoke of the the welcome and of the uh, the warmth with which public uh, in uh, chennai has received him and his delegation uh, the discussions focused on what had happened after the wuhan summit in the past approximately year and a half and both leaders have agreed that many of the dialogue mechanisms uh, which have uh, been formed or which have been reformed since the wuhan summit has created a very good momentum in the relationship and that the engagement between india and china across all sectors has intensified they also agreed that strategic communications have deepened and that this should be continued and both leaders have therefore agreed that the informal summit provides a very good platform for the leaderships to engage and president xi jinping endorsed the idea that we should continue these informal summits between the leaders of india and china in the future there was a good conversation on trade as you know this is an issue which has been of concern here back home and president xi jinping after hearing out our prime minister on this issue said that he, that china is ready to take sincere action in this regard and to discuss in a very concrete way how to reduce the trade deficit now one of the important understandings that the two leaders reached therefore was that a new mechanism will be established to discuss trade investment and services this will be at an elevated level from the chinese side it would be the vice premier his name is mr hu chunhua from the indian side it will be the finance minister of india shrimati nirmala sitaraman this the decision on when and how this mechanism is to be activated will of course be done now through diplomatic channels this is not something the leaders go through and uh, president xi jinping also then welcomed investments from india into china including in the information technology and pharmaceutical sectors the two leaders also agreed that they should explore through this new mechanism the possibility of establishing manufacturing partnerships and prime minister suggested 
that both sides could identify certain sectors, certain specific industries where investment could come in and where manufacturing would help create employment, create jobs, uh, uh, and uh, enhance the market for both sides. Uh, obviously, when trade is being discussed, one of the issues briefly touched upon was the RCEP, the 16 member, um, uh, the discussions between 16 countries on forming a common uh, regional trading agreement. And Prime Minister specifically said in this regard that India looks forward to this, but that uh, it is important that RCEP is balanced, that a balance is maintained between trade in goods, trade in services, and investment. And uh, President Xi uh, noted this and said that China and India are ready to discuss this further and that Indian concerns will be taken into account. It was a brief discussion, but it is an important point. President Xi raised the issue of engaging more on the defense and security side. He said that uh, there was a brief review of the uh, ongoing exchanges and cooperation, after which the President of China said we need to step up engagement in this area. This will enhance mutual trust between the two militaries and the security forces. And they have extended an invitation to the Raksha Mantri, our defense minister, uh, to visit China. Again, the dates, the timing, and so on will be discussed through diplomatic channels. The two leaders had a fairly long discussion on people-to-people -people relations. And both Prime Minister and President Xi agreed that we need public opinion in both countries to broad base the relationship that we have between India and China. And to this extent, uh, to the, uh, under this rubric, a number of issues were discussed. The first, of course, being the 70th anniversary of India-China relations next year. We have agreed that 70 events will be celebrated, 35 on each side. Uh, the, the, uh, this has been more or less decided what sort of events these will be. Uh, and in effect, it means that there will be at least one event each week in the anniversary year, either in India or in China. And both leaders agreed that this sort of intensive uh, uh, propagation of the, of the public side of the relationship should in fact lead to public opinion on both sides being engaged in the relationship. Uh, the Prime Minister also specifically proposed that we need to give greater emphasis on tourism. Tourism in both directions. And he felt that the 70th anniversary of China's uh, liberation, which was just celebrated this year, and the 75th anniversary of the independence of India would be the two milestone years in which we should look to significantly enhance tourism from the existing levels to a, a new level. And in that regard, the Prime Minister also suggested that uh, in order to enhance PP2P contact, contact between the public in both sides, we should also look, among other things, at homestay. And President Xi Jinping gave a positive response to this particular suggestion. President Xi spoke of greater facilitation for yatris going to the Kailash Mansarovar Yatra. And Prime Minister suggested a number of ideas on the connect between the state of Tamil Nadu and the Fujian province of China. This was the province in which the city of Chuancho is located, where recently, or in the last decade or so, Tamil inscriptions and fragments of a temple, uh, Shaivite temple, have been discovered, uh, and where there is now increasing evidence that traders from Tamil Nadu, as well as from other parts of southern India, actually established communities. Therefore, among the various ideas is joint research on how we can explain to our own public this connect that is there between uh, the Tamil Nadu and Fujian. Uh, there was a decision to establish sister state relations between uh, Tamil Nadu of India and Fujian of China and various other initiatives in this regard. Uh, the idea is that we also strengthen the connection between southern India and China in the same way that Buddhism was a connect between the northern part of India and China. Uh, there was some discussion on international and regional issues. Uh, both Pre President Xi and Prime Minister emphasized the importance of both countries having independent and autonomous foreign policies. President Xi said that in the light of this, both sides need to have many more intensive discussions, promote understanding, understand each other's perspective on major, major global and regional issues. They both agreed that it is important to strengthen a rules-based order in the international trading system 
that the World Trade Organization is a central pillar of the global trading system and that in the process of reform, both sides should work together. Both sides have also had a brief exchange on climate change, on the responsibilities that government of India and uh, China are taking in uh, enhancing our own consciousness towards environmental protection and climate change. Uh, both have also agreed that we need to maintain a closer contact uh, on international issues and on regional issues, and among these, some of them discussed included Afghanistan. Uh, finally, uh, President Xi Jinping has invited Prime Minister to China for the next informal summit. This will obviously be at a mutually agreed time, and the Prime Minister has accepted this invitation with pleasure. So I would certainly sum up uh, the, uh, the events of the last two days uh, in the following way. For the, in the first place, there was excellent discussion between the two leaders, and what has come out of this summit is the role of leadership in both countries in steering our relationship into a forward-looking direction. Both Prime Minister and President Xi Jinping mentioned that we need to look to the future. Secondly, Prime Minister's description of the outcome as Chennai Connect in the follow-up to the Wuhan spirit. Thirdly, both sides agreed to consolidate strategic communications, to enhance it at all levels, to talk and share about uh, any issues that we have, to build mutual trust, including between the militaries. Fourthly, we agreed that there would be greater understanding shown on trade relations and on our sensitivities relating to trade. We would try to find a way forward in addressing the trade deficit. A new mechanism at an elevated level would be created in order to talk about trade issues. Uh, fifthly, we both agreed that it was important to deal with the challenges of terrorism and radicalization uh, in an increasingly complex world and where our own societies were diverse and both leaders were leaders of countries which were not only large in terms of area and population but also in terms of diversity. Lastly, but not the least, uh, there was a new focus on people-to-people -people relations and understanding between both leaders that the public in both countries, and we constitute between the two countries 2.7 billion people, the public of both countries need to be brought into the relationship, that the relationship needs to be predicated on how the public benefits in both countries, and a number of ideas were exchanged on how we can uh, build P2P relations. Obviously, it now falls upon the official levels, uh, the two foreign ministries, uh, the other departments of the government of India and their counterparts in China to concretize uh, the outcomes of the Chennai summit uh, and to see how we can carry this relationship forward. But I will only conclude by saying that uh, prior to his departure, just a very short while ago uh, from the summit venue, uh, the president did convey to Prime Minister that he was very satisfied with the discussions. He enjoyed talking to the Prime Minister. He looks forward to receiving the Prime Minister in China next year. Thank you.